The Exercise Medicine program was launched at Sick Kids in 2017. It is the first program in Canada that integrates lifestyle medicine into the high level of medical care provided to our young patients. In the Exercise Medicine program, we see patients who were born with a heart condition or they live with a complex medical condition. We used to think in the past that exercise was detrimental for the kids. With tremendous consequences on their health, these kids were ending up living a sedentary lifestyle. The Exercise Medicine program aims to change this. Through exercise and proper guidance, patients learn how to become more confident in their abilities and therefore to live their life up to their max capacity. And this is what the program is about, to empower their body and mind. The Exercise Medicine program has helped me to know my limits and boundaries when I'm doing my activities. And it's also given me confidence while I'm doing those sports because I know that I can do much more than I thought I could. So when we meet patients, well, they can expect that we will assess them to see how strong they are. They can expect that we're gonna see how well they move. And I really work with the family to help make sure that we're, we're eliminating any barriers to their participation in sports or activities of their choice. The heart muscle is just like any other muscle in our body, such as your arms or legs. And the way you build a stronger muscle is by challenging it and by exercising it. I do think that the exercise medicine program can help other kids like me because it can boost their confidence when they're trying new sports and even give them the confidence to try new sports and not to limit themselves because they think they can't do it with their heart condition. I think it's important to incorporate exercise medicine into the treatment plan of kids like Alex because it acknowledges that you have to care for the whole person, you're not just treating the disease in isolation. Exercise medicine shows them that their quality of life is important. So physical activity is good for them in so many ways. It's good for their overall health. It's good for their sense of belonging when they know that they can participate. Um, it's good for their mental health in so many ways and it's good for their confidence. Through physical activity, exercise training, we really are able to empower the child and empower the family to achieve even the smallest of goals, which usually results in them achieving bigger and bigger goals. It builds their confidence, it builds belief in themselves that they can actually set goals and achieve goals, which only becomes more self-fulfilling as time goes on. Many patients smile when I tell them that the medicine I want them to take is called exercise, and I reassure them that this medicine has no side effect, but it's fun, and they can take this medicine with their friends and families. The most rewarding part of this job is to see patients living their life not limited by their diagnosis. You know your kids are going to want to try activities. They're going to want to be active and participate and maybe try sports. And we can't let our fears hold them back. So it's better if we let them try what they need to try. And this program helps them feel confident doing that. It helps us to feel confident letting them try the things they want to try. And it gives them a sense of ownership over their own health because they learn about physical activity, about nutrition and screen time and sleep and how important it is for them. And it was nice to know that he was being looked after and guided by professionals who know him and know his physiology. And that took away a lot of my worry too. Some advice I'd be giving to kids with, about physical activity is to always be trying new things that look interesting to you. And to always try and push yourself because you never know what you can actually do. And don't limit yourself because of your heart condition.